Hey, what's up, people? Welcome to the first episode of Funky Steve's Medinas. So this is going to be um, just basically a uh, Rogue Tech kind of, um, I don't want to call it a copy of my original Pirate Land series, but that's what these, these guys are going to be. They're just going to be straight pirates. So in this particular series, I'm just going to be doing missions on the planet and refitting mechs, and that's pretty much it. Um, so really all you're going to be seeing in this one is the... Um, action on the surface, whatever our salvage selection is going to be, and then refitting our mechs as we go along. So there's no real um, uh, target per se in this one. Once again, I you know, you know I want to be heading to the clan worlds and stuff like that. Right now, um, Rogue Tech Flashpoint is kind of launched and I'm playing a series in that. Check that out. It's uh, my Flashpoint the 900 series. Uh, or playlist and then I've also got a uh, Rogue Tech Cold Forge series which is more serious. This one's just going to be goofy so uh, the mechs I rolled in this one actually let's go look at well I'll do the mechs first. So I started off with only three mechs. Uh, 65 ton um, Jaeger mech. Uh, if we have a quick look at this guy he started off two pirate Goss rifles which are minus two to hit. So um, because I chose uh, pirates and stuff and starting off um, my family starting off in the outer rim I ended up with a bunch of machine guns to start and a tagger and stuff so I dropped a bunch of machine guns in the arms of this guy added some heat sinks added the tagger and a large laser we're ridiculously heat inefficient at this moment like we're like twice twice the heat right but we're gonna be using the large laser and the tagger from distance once we get close it'll be the heavy machine guns and the flamers and then melee uh, and also I jacked all the armor up almost completely to max for everything with the exception of the center torso back armor which is only at 75 but still this is going to be uh, a nice meat grinder mech. Now I also got this uh, plus stability gyro um, on, on startup so that's going to help us out when we're close and then our second mech is the blackjack. Let's have a look at this guy. This is pretty much a stock loadout blackjack. I pulled it uh, as I do with uh, most of my mechs. I may be adding jump jets to mechs later on, but right now I'm not going to bother with it. Um, added a bit of armor. Um, pretty, I, think, I, think, I think I just added two tons of armor. That's all I did to this guy when I took the jump jets out. But it's the stock build. Four medium lasers, two AC2s. Uh, not really that heat of distance, and then the medium lasers in close. Then we've got an assassin, which we can't see um, from... Hopefully we can see it more on the ground. But uh, this assassin uh, started off with two SRM2s. Pull out the jump jets, put two more SRM2s in. Um, the armor is actually pretty good in this. I think I added a ton of armor, increasing the arms and stuff. Uh, light PPC we're going to keep. It's actually really heat efficient because it's got a uh, double heat sink fusion core, which is good. So, um, and then we've got a Guardian ECM and Stealth Armor in this guy. So he's going to be moving in quickly and attacking and moving out. Now it's a, it's a big engine. So he'll be able to move really, really fast, 310 kilometers an hour, which is awesome. So he's going to be our main uh, uh, in-close melee guy. So that's what we have right now. And in our first mission, I'm just going to drop to the surface. And um, um, Oh, let's have a quick look at the barracks before we do that uh, and where we are. We started off as Tortuga in the Tortuga Dominions. Um, and once again, I flushed out all of my mech warriors. Started off with uh, three that I found. Um, Possum gives me a bonus to uh, buy stuff in the store. Commander. Or actually, no, she doesn't. Sorry, she started off with uh, increased um, military service, but she was very, very low in cost. So I chose her just because I needed someone with a little higher gunnery. Uh, and both uh, Prodigy and Rommel Commander. have got, um, like, she's got the technical school, and he has got um, Tinker. So they're both mech improved uh, repair times. They're a little bit more. Um, like this guy's 27.5 and she's 25.3. They're a little more than I would normally pay. It's like almost twice as much as I would normally pay for a pilot. Um, but I think that improved mech repair times is going to really help us out. So that's kind of why I went that route. And then we've got Savage Steve here, who's the leader of the group. Um, Gunnery 5 and 4 is across the board. Um, so we're going to be Funky Steve's Medina. This is actually Steve Medina, the uh, leader of the group. Um, and that's why it's Funky Steve's Medinas. So um, let's go and have a look at the engineering real quick. So I've upgraded the ship slightly um, from the start of the game. Uh, like I usually do, I spend the first month just um, 
getting everything into place. So I'm ready to play. So power systems upgraded. Got our second mech bay um, and our um, uh, automation here, which makes the second bay work at 100% efficiency, which is great. And we got our training module up and running. Next thing I want to do is probably get the re recreation going, which I can probably actually do that right now. Plus two morale, plus one tech points. Ten days, 225,000s. Purchase that. Cool. So that's done. So now it puts us under a little bit of pressure to uh, get some money before the end of the month. So have a look at the Argo. All right. So we are 18 days to the end of the month. As long as we don't get killed on this first mission um, or take a lot of damage, then we should be uh, no problem meeting that target. So I'll meet everybody down on the surface. So in good old pirate fashion, we're here down on the surface. Uh, we picked up n news that there's uh, some valuable materials in this uh, um, facility outside of uh, the main um, cities on this in this uh, planet. So um, we dropped down to uh, check out what was here. And on our way in, looks like we're encountering some uh, resistance here. We've got some guys over here, some guys over here, and it looks like there's somebody over here too. So, because our dropship can't necessarily get in to get us right now, we're going to have to take these guys on. So, we're going to do that. If I were planning an ambush, this is where I'd put it. Yeah, it looks like Darius is correct. Looks like we got ambushed here. Maybe they were waiting for people to uh, take this. Maybe they are pirates or something like that that are uh, setting a trap for people to come and try and steal stuff. Who knows? But, uh, why can this assassin jump? That's what I want to know. He doesn't have any jump jets. Did I not take them all off? Did I miss one? Probably missed one. Dang. Alright, so we're going to take on these guys over here first. Time to earn our money. Okay, so he doesn't look too bad. Alright. So I got uh, Prodigy in the uh, Assassin. He's got better um, piloting skills than our other mech pilot. And then Possum's got better gunnery, so I've got her in the uh, Blackjack. And then of course Savage Steve is piloting the uh, the um, Jaeger mech. So Steve's main goal is to just get in close and hammer these guys. All right, let's uh, reserve on this one. Looks like they got ooh maybe there's only three over here. We'll find out in a second. But they are all mechs. So let's hope they're. Uh, Partially damaged mix. They're moving pretty fast. <clears throat> Looks like there might only be three over here. Which is probably a good thing. There's probably three more over here. Probably all light, seems like, anyway. Alright, let's see if we can get eyes on with Prodigy here. Let's get him into here, I think. On the move. And since he's completely heat efficient, what do we got here? Locust? Yeah, we're going to fire everything. At least one of our mechs can just fire continuously. Ah, no joy with the tag. Oh, somebody else is moving. Probably their main guy. Good to go. So let's sprint up here. How far can we get? Let's get into the open and give us a little better chance to hit. Not much, but uh, we'll do that. Oh, we're going to be shooting, all right. Let's, um, the AC-2s and the medium lasers have all got the same. So let's just fire these guys. Oh, nice, two hits. Impressive. Oh, there's another medium guy around somewhere too, I think. All right, let's sprint it up here. Can we get within visual? We can here. So let's just get... We're not shooting everything, obviously. Taking the flamers off. Uh, this is going to be fun. Taking the machine guns off. We're just going to go with the tagger and the large laser. Oh, hit with both. Are you kidding me? What? Alright, I'm taking it. I'm not even going to look at gift horse in the mouse. That was awesome. Okay, we're going to reserve... Prodigy, you hang out back here. Let's see if these guys are going to try and join up with the other group. Looks like they are. So we're going to shoot this guy in the back. Make the attempt to, anyway. 
That guy's fading out over there. Looks like they're all trying to get into a group together, which is probably the smartest move to do, but... Um, oh, we got two guys coming in over there. We're going to fire another Locust. We're going to shoot this guy straight in the back. Eh. Well, okay, we tagged him. That's good. Target acquired. All right, possums, get Ready up on that hill. Commander. Have to sprint up there, I think. Ooh, it won't matter. All right, we're gonna have to move over here then. Once again, AC twos and medium lasers. I don't know why these medium lasers. Oh, all right, because we don't have any arm actuators. I was wondering why the medium lasers and the arms don't have the same chance to hit as the medium lasers and the torso. But that would be why. Oh my God! Three hits, four hits at that. Are you kidding me? RNG's loving me right now. All right, Steve, let's get in here. He's so savage. All right, let's go with just a large laser and a tagger again. Can't get lucky twice in a row, that is. All right. Well, we got another shot with uh, Prodigy in the back, so we'll see what happens. So he's got six Chevrons of Evasion already. That's pretty good. Okay, so let's get down. Actually, we got the one jump yet. <laughs> let's just jump down. Why? Because we can. Right to here. Jumping. Just get off that hill. Shoot this guy straight in the back. Nice. Good damage. Another tag on him. Not having a good day. Yep. <laughs> I don't blame you, buddy. So we got three more mechs over here, and it looks like a boss mech. So we got seven guys on the planet. That might be an urban mech. He's moving really slow. But we're going to fade back around this way. So two. Is that a heavy mech? It has to be a heavy mech. What's this guy? Fire starter? Yeah, PM. What's the PM? Oh, that's the good chassis. Ooh. Waiting for order. Don't know if we'll get any parts out of that, though. All right, let's get back here. Let's see if we can finish up this uh, locust here. Probably not not likely, but we're gonna fire just this again. Ah, we can't we can't win every time. Oh, another mech. Another one. What the heck? So I wonder if this is the boss. We got two mediums? What? Just so you know, this is like half skull. Commando 1C. Medium laser and AC2. Full armor. I don't want to engage those guys just yet, so let's move into here. Just going to go large and tagger on this guy again. Okay, taggers on him. That's good. Yeah, this is a little bit more difficult with only three mechs. Okay, no damage. Assassin's going to get to go first again. So we are going to punish this guy. Hmm. If I do this, they're going to get a chance for a back shot. If I sprint... Still gonna get a chance for a back shot no matter what I do. Unless I come all the way over over Nope. 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 That's a little better. Let's go this route. Yeah, that's um an awful lot of guys over there. All right, let's see if we can finish this guy up. Wow, bad chances to hit. Our luck is slowly leaving us. Can you feel it? 
critical hit, Commander. Yeah, but when he's not dead. Which means someone else has got to shoot at him. Yeah, I don't blame you for running. <laughs> Once you see the Jager Mac and Blackjack, he's backing up. Run, run away. I like it when you run away. Alright, see what else these guys do here. So that Locust is going to try and flee. They got six, seven, eight guys. So this leader must have had somebody with him as protection. This is a half skull mission. There's like a heavy two mediums and I still got six lights to kill. And they're like these guys are like full uh, armor. One hit. Prometheus flame. Like they got full armor. What the hell? We're gonna what die. We're all gonna die. Uh, let's get into the trees here. Turn ourselves. I'm gonna fire on this guy. I gotta really manage my heat now. Okay, get some damage in. So this guy's stuck. I don't know if he's stuck down there, but I find that a lot of mechs that go down that way don't really come back up again. Uh, you have to kind of go over and get them, so we might be okay in that regard. We're going to walk it up. I'm going to turn like this. This time we're going to turn off the large laser. And let's give them what for with everything else. Actually, if we use the large... Actually, that's not too bad. We're going to fire that route. I'll try and maximize damage as much as we can on this guy right now. Okay, he's tagged. That's an LRM-10. Could be a Centurion. Okay, Prodigy, see if we can get this guy. Let's get into the trees if we can. But we can't see him when we're there. We can see him from here, though. That's opening our back up to those guys. But he's just got flamers, so it's not too bad. So let's do this way. Let's see if we can finish up this Locust. He's still got a medium in SRM, so we got to get rid of him. Still tagged. Man. Oh, there's somebody else back there. So they have 10 mechs on, in total. At half skull. So this, uh, he must be stuck there. Let's hope, let's hope that it's not a um, urban mech. Freaking Hatchetman's chasing this locust all over the map board. Alright, <laughs> let's see what he does here. Oh, he's going to protect himself. I don't blame him. We're going to melee next turn. Although the Jager mech doesn't really do much damage by meleeing. Here comes that fire starter. He's overheating. The one thing I know reliably about that fire starter is that it overheats really, really well. So I'm going to put some pirate flamers on that guy in a minute. That's going to really heat him up. Alright, so we don't want to turn our back to that guy back over there. But we will move up over here. And we're going to fire on this guy. We've got to get rid of him. So we're going to use the medium lasers, leave the AC2s off. Ah, one hit. Better than nothing, I guess. So our hatchet men should go before. Let's go Steve. Hmm, can't get. No, can't do it. Can we get this guy with flamers? We can, but it's such a bad chance. What if we don't move? Like if we just fire. That's not bad. We should be able to kill this guy. 20% on this guy though. Um, gonna multi-target. We got tons of armor. 
I'm gonna do that and that. I'm gonna leave the large off. Put the flamers on B. Let's try this. Okay, he bailed. Good. They're down to eight now. Just need one hit. Nope. Ah, well. We'll do more damage because he's overheating. I think our pirate machine guns actually do more damage versus overheating, too. Yep. Don't, you don't even say things like that. Please, just don't. You know what happens when you say stuff like that. Okay, let's get this guy. We got some good melee damage, 48. Gonna attack this guy straight. We can't get him in the back, unfortunately. He's in a good spot for protecting himself, but we're gonna attack him anyway. Getting a little bit of lag. 48, nice. I think we might have gotten a leg there. Ah, hoping for the tag, but no, not quite. Damn it. It's okay, buddy. Oh, we got a CT hit on him. How do we get a CT? Okay. Oh, you're going to play the back game, are you? It's a game you're going to lose, dude. Alright, possum. Since he's that guy CT'd, and the guy back here has not shot... Which means he can't see us. We're going to move over here. And we're going to unload straight into the CT of this guy. What's he got left? 23. We're going to fire straight on him. Roger that. On ah. I was hoping for a good hit there, but... Not bloody likely. Oh, they're letting us all go first. Okay. Can we get these guys both? No, not from there. What about from here? Not without sprinting. I don't want to sprint. I want to be able to shoot and have better chances to hit. So we're going to go here. So again, we're going to multi-target. Going to have to melee soon here. So these are going to be turning that off. Tagger should go to B and those should go to B and we're going to leave a heavy machine gun off. Why is this machine gun doing less damage? It's only doing five against this guy. Interesting. What are the flamers' chances? 50% in this guy. 20 damage. 50. We're going to go for it. Let's fire. Hmm. Well, must have hit the CT. Added 4 heat to that guy. Not bad. That looks like an LRM-15. Either that or rockets. What is... What would... I don't even know what that guy would be. Large laser and LRM-15? Thunderbolt, maybe? If that's the heavy mech? Could be. If it is, we're going to have a big problem. Especially if he's got full armor. Dang. It's okay. Hatchiman's gonna, or the a assassin's gonna attack this guy. Oh, someone's com coming in for a melee attack. 21. Now, uh, I should really roast this guy. He's still got critical heat. I think I will. Okay, we're gonna go straight on this guy's front from right here. Gonna attack him straight out. Let's hope for that CT hit. Nice. Well, it wasn't really a CT hit, but good enough. Target neutralized. Okay. What's next here? Hmm, large laser. Could be from anything. Comes another light mech. So we're going to start rotating back behind this hill again. The direct fire from the large lasers is 
Oh, are you serious? Another well, we know what that guy is. Uh oh. Shutting down. That is not good. That is really bad. Okay, his emergency shutdown is initiated. So, um... It's got to be a back attack, I think. Let's do that. Let's go for a CT back attack. Um... There we go. Well... What? Oh my god! Are you kidding me? Dang, you're dead. What the hell was that? How did I kill that guy? Alright, Steve, restart. Well, at least we're down below uh, overheat. It's hard to tell with the color scheme I got on this guy, but uh, he's not overheating. Alright, so we need to get you, let's get some eyes on. Let's move over here. Get our stability back. We're just going to fire straight out on this guy. Fire everything. That's our primary target? Oh, Jesus, I got to watch out for that guy. Alright, we got to kill this guy fast then. He's a fire starter. Are you serious? At least he's engaging. Alright, that's three misses anyway. Four misses. Or however many he shot. Okay, his seat's critical. We should be able to shut him down. Now, I was going to back away, but I can't really do that right at this moment. So we got to get in on this guy and get as much damage as we can. So Possum's going to reserve. and Because I want Steve to shut him down first. I think we're going to be okay here. So let's get Steve moving. Let's get him in. I got to get some evasion going. Let's find out what that guy is over there. So what are we on here? Panther, 8Z, SRM and a large laser minus. Very weak armor. Okay, so we're going to fire on this guy with both flamers, leaving the large laser off. Tagger's going to stay on. And wow, look at that. We can fire like with like a, a flamer. One flamer we can fire with. Is it even worth it or should I just... I'm just going to brace this turn, I think. Let's get some heat back. I was hoping to shut him down, but it's not going to happen. Yeah, I think that guy's a thunderbolt. Damage minimal. 65 versus 65. Okay, I need you down here. Let's get on this guy. Leave the ACs off. Hmm, can only go with three medium lasers. Let's do it. Dang. Catch you next time. Hope he doesn't try and bug out here. Oh, how come they get to... Oh, because I shot last, that's right. Um, we are nice and cool. So let's get you down here. Roger. And let's fire on this guy. All weapons are go. That was really, really bad. Okay. We gotta get more flamers. Eh. Plink, plink. I mean, I gotta remember the Jager mech is like totally full armor, right? It's got like so much armor against these light mechs. Okay, at least he went against the guy that it's gonna do the least amount of effect on. Did he just shut down? He's shut down. What an idiot. What an Waiting idiot. You, okay, let's move back here. No, yeah, in the woods. Let's fire on this guy. 
Let's go for a headshot. Uh, or should we go for torso here? Well, he's got an ECM. Engine flamer double triple pluses. Yeah, he's got the mask. I want to save that. Let's go for the headshot. Can only fire three. Tell me what to do. Any luck? No. You should get lucky with the machine guns, though. See what happens. Oh, that guy finally made it up here. So let's move Savage Steve back here. I'm gonna turn like that. Doesn't really matter, I don't think. And we're gonna attack this guy. Gonna aim for the head. And we are going to go with this route. Fire everything. Come on, just give me one hit. Where did I hit? Torso, pilot injured. Okay. Oh, it ain't going anywhere. All we can do is start up this turn. Fire on this guy. Gonna try for another head hit. He should go down. Oh, he's got a lot of health, though. Yeah, that's all he can do this turn. So we have to kill him with our next two mechs. Or he's going to get out of here. What can I do for you? All right, I'm not even going to move. I'm going to maximize my firing on this guy. Drain a little bit of heat. Um, doesn't have much left in his head. Almost nothing left in his CT. You're just going to fire straight out. That should do it. Yep. Gotcha. So that's technically the mission. So we're going to call this a trap. And we can bail out now if we want to. I don't know if we do, though. We want to try and get some salvage out of this. Um, going to reserve. See what happens. And if nobody moves, I think I'm just going to brace. Yeah. Let's just brace here. Drain that heat. Okay, so they're down to five now. Um, I'm going to reserve. See what they're up to here. So this guy back here is going first, it looks like. Let's reserve again. So they got two mediums and a heavy still. Bet you the heavy's a thunderbolt. Here comes the mediums. So we're going to dart out now and find out what we're up against. Okay, so Prodigy's going to come out. Uh, let's see if we can get some eyes on here. Um, I thought I could see the other guy. From over here I can. Um, can we see... If we sprint... So we can see that guy from here. So let's do that. I know we're in the open. We've got lots of... Uh, yeah, he's a Thunderbolt. 1C. LRMs, large laser, mediums. Although he's weakened armor. So let's fire everything on this guy. See if we can get a tag on him. This with the PPC, really. There's a tag. Okay, that's going to help. So we're going to start wheeling here. If we can smoke this, if we can smoke this guy fast, I may just stick it out to the end and finish these guys up. My concern is losing a mech, right? Like, like I can't afford to lose a mech. I've only got three, so I'm only getting like two of ten salvage out of this too. So I gotta be careful of what I'm doing here. So we're gonna open up on this guy. Uh, gonna, we already got our tag on him, so we don't need to fire a tagger. Let's just fire this stuff. Get any fire on him? We did. A little bit of heat. Oh, that's from the machine guns. Shoot. Good to go. Let's sprint you over here. Uh, let's get to here, probably. Pedal to the metal. And we're going to fire the ACs. Just going to fire the ACs. Going to save a bit of heat here. Okay, one hit. Alright, let's see what the lights do. Oh! He's firing twice. What could that be? Could be light rifles. On a Jenner or something. Um, yeah. I wonder. Let's reserve. I want to take another shot at this guy. 
But I don't want to fight all four guys at once here, so if they don't move up far enough... Eh. Good thing we're in the trees. If they don't move up far enough, we may stick around in this spot. We're going to reserve again. We may stick around in this spot and do a bit more fighting. But I think these guys are going to attempt to close. That is a Centurion. Hope that's not the AC-20 version. Damn. Yeah. Well, we've all got four health, so that means we've all got plus one health, so... Cicada. PPC and some machine guns. Gotta find out what these guys are here. Centurion is... Two machine guns, heavy rifle, and a mining drill. We don't want him getting close. This guy's got a PPC, two machine guns. Like, no armor. We could pummel this guy. So let's do that. So we're gonna wheel here. Let's get Prodigy moving first. I want to get you to a point where we can shoot, but not have to worry about... Affirmed. Well, that guy's going to see us. We're going to be going twice anyway before the... Uh... Why is it so overheated? I don't understand why he's so overheated. Okay, here goes our heavy. We're gonna keep rotating. So Steve's gonna take it. Oh, this guy's moving now. Oh, no, he's not. Uh, we're gonna take Steve to here. Gonna fire on this guy. And we'll fire with the same. Let's get the tagger, see if we can hit him with it too. Um, I'm going to leave off the regular heavy machine guns. I don't think it's worth it. Um, take the flamers off with the large laser on. Let's go with this. Oh, nice. Large laser hit. Tag plus six heat. And possum. Going to wheel. See if we can get to cover and fire and not see this guy. Unlikely. Hmm. Will she be going before the Centurion? Let's use Vigilance. And then we're going to go ahead and do this. Move into here. Fire on this guy. And we're going to go with... Three, four, Alpha Strike. Let's fire everything. Ah, uh, wasn't what I was expecting. Okay, so she's gonna go be going before them too. All right, Prodigy. Let's get you. Actually, we want to move Possum first. I think. Can we get to a point here where we can still see that guy? Somewhere back here, but that's moving more towards this guy, and we don't want to engage with him. So I'm wondering if we just take this turn and get out of harm's way. Uh -huh. Do this. Get some heat back. That's that panther. That annoying panther. Okay, we're all he heated up here, so let's get you back here, and brace. Here comes that crap, crapturian. Cicada, wonder if you'll get to a position where I can move back. And still shoot him. Like we can just fire the large and the tag on him. Okay, so let's back up. Nah, we can't. Well, we can get here. But I don't think I want to do that. I think I want to try and get as far away as possible. Now nah, get to shoot me in the back if I do that. 
probably there too. So let's do this. Get our heat back. Alright, that was them. So let's reserve. Acknowledged. Wonder if this guy can see us. I think he's the the uh, cicada with the two pepper box rifles. That's my that's my guess. We're gonna reserve again. Let's get to see who's gonna come in and take some bait here. Centurion. As long as you're only hitting with machine guns, dude, that is good. He doesn't have a lot of armor, though. Like, we could really punish this guy. I wonder if we should just attempt to take him down now. He's got no back armor. But if he gets in close to that mining drill, it's going to be a problem. Uh, let's get to a point where we can shoot this guy in the side, perhaps, like here. Heading out. Gonna fire on him. He is standing in the open, which is good. Nice. Okay. Target acquired. See if we can take that arm off. I think that's where he's got the, uh, yeah, as long as you shoot from over there, buddy, I'm fine. I think he's got the uh, heavy rifle in that arm and the drills in the other arm, right? Heavy rifles on this side, mining drills on that side. So we've almost blew through his torso here. So let's move Possum. I want to shoot him in the side. This puts us in the open, but I think we're far enough away from him. So let's do that. I think we can alpha strike him again. Yes, we can with excellent chances to hit. Four hits. I'll take the four. Not bad. And Steve. Okay, Steve, you need to get some uh, stability back. So let's just walk it over here. And let's go with... He's going to come into melee, I think. Let's leave the flamers off. Save a little bit of heat. Oh, it's 20 damage, though, if they hit. Let's drop them on. Let's go with everything. Come on. Right leg, right torso, right arm. He's going down. So that guy is pretty much done now. He'll be able to stand up this turn, but not much else. Oh, that guy can still see us. So that was 20 damage, so I think those are light rifles. I keep calling them pepper box rifles, but I think they're, they're considered to be light rifles. Why is that guy not getting up? Did he go before us? Must have. Uh... Okay, we're going to move a little bit, on my way. and we're going to fire on this guy. We're going to go for the CT shot and fire everything. Firing full complement on it. Okay, that's that guy gone. He's tagged us in case we want to shoot him again. One less target. Okay, they got four guys left. I think we're going to stick around. Ah, you know, I say things like that, and then they do lots of damage to me. Then I'm like, maybe we shouldn't stick around. Hey. And then something will happen good, like I'll kill one of their guys, and I'll be like, no, I think we can stick this out, and then they'll do major damage to me again. Okay. Let's get into here. I know I'm sprinting, probably shouldn't, but I want to see if I can take the cicada out. I'm gonna need to lose some stuff here. A couple of medium lasers, fire everything else. Oh, hit with one, not bad. Should have hit with two, but I'll take one. Better than nothing. So he's moving in. So I'm going to walk it over there with the uh, Jaeger mech here. Put myself a little bit in the open. Hopefully become a target. Going to fire at this guy. Flamers come off. Large laser comes off. We're just going to go with all the machine guns and the tagger. So he's tagged. A little bit of extra heat, not much. So this guy's going to take a couple of turns to get around to us. Keep launching those LRM-15s, buddy. I'm okay with that. Okay, Prodigy. Going to get up on this hill here. Get some good view on this guy. Almost out of SRMs. So, yeah. 
Let's unload. I think I might pull a double heatsink kit out of this guy. And I might drop it into the Jager mech. I'm out of SRN. I don't think this guy needs it. We can pull off the L we can pull off the um, large laser off the Jager mech. Put it into this guy. Load up with a few more heat sinks. If we can get an engine out of this, I can downgrade the engine in this assassin. I don't think like he's not really performing the way I was hoping him to perform. So let's. Where is this guy damaged? A little bit on this side. More on that side. His PPC is right here. Uh, CT potentially. So let's back up. Got it. Get our stability back. I'm gonna fire on this guy. I'm gonna turn off the ACs. Put the medium lasers back on. I know he's trying to close with us. Roger that. Firing on target. Two hits. Nice. Another fusion core crit. Okay, cool. Yeah, critical hit. He's panicking. As right he should. Why he's moving into attack, I don't know. Okay, cool. Took the bait. So I should be able to finish him up now. Let's go, Steve. Gonna move back here. And we're gonna go with the same loadout, I think. Actually, let's leave the pirate machine guns off with the flamers on. Can we put both flamers on? Yeah, we're just, that's pretty good, actually. So let's go this route. Can we get no flamer heats? Really? Oh, we got one. Surprised he hasn't attempted to bail out. Okay, so I think the best bet now with Prodigy is to melee this guy. We're gonna go... We're just actually gonna stand right where we are, I think. Can we... Can't really go anywhere else. Yeah. Let's just stay here and attack this guy. 91%... Wait, what? Forced him to move. There's the knockdown. Torso destroyed. I think we got a head hit on this guy before, so he should be out cold now. Excellent. So he's gone. Then there were three. Someone's got to shut that noisy rifle up. I should just leave him to last and go in and give him a good pasting. Okay, Blackjack's taking, starting to take significant damage now. Oh, actually not that bad. I thought, I'm thinking it was going to be a lot more damage than I thought it was, but... Uh, I forgot to kind of max out her armor, so it's not that bad. Can I put another medium laser on here? No. Just fire three. Three hits. Nice. I interest you in some melting armor. What do we got here? Not a whole lot left. CT, arm. CT, nice. Okay, Speeve. Let's get in close. Same loadout. Gonna fire everything again. Uh, large laser is a good chance to hit, but... We don't have the heat for it, so we're going to fire all this stuff. All the pirate heavies seem to be better this time. Can we fire? How much can we fire? Let's fire all this. Thirty-eight heat. Nice. Tagged. Excellent. So that guy's shooting. Let's get in here with our uh, assassin. So this guy's got arm claws. It's kind of cool. So let's just... Why was that... Melee. Attack from here, which is the back. Just go ahead on this guy. Nice. So I don't know why this mech is not representing our colors and stuff. Not sure what they did. Oh, there's a knockdown. What they did to do this, but it's, it does look kind of cool. Okay. It's getting up. And overheated. And on fire, it looks like. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we can do next turn here. We're just all going to pick on him now. Good to go. Okay, possum. Where can we get him from? Can we get him from back there? No, we can get him from here, though. 
Let's just melee this guy. 93% chance. See if we can knock his butt in the ground again. Why his legs up in the air? I don't know. A little bit. Savage Steve coming in for the next attack. Sounds like some kind of bad wrestling name. Send you what? A real mech warrior? Here it comes. Wow! I think I, this guy only does like 30 damage, I think, doesn't he? Ah, huh, I'll take it. Ah, uh, we're gonna reserve. Copy that. Holding for the right move. And reserve. Yep. Standing by. Gonna go twice on this guy. So uh, let's get in to here. Give him a shot with that light PPC. Oh, it's a back shot too. Nice. Okay, he's tagged. Cool. Let's get possum around. Hmm. Can't get to a point where we can shoot him though. That's okay. Let's just get in close. Drain that heat. Let's get Steve going. He's almost there too. Okay, we get to go again. That guy's gonna get such a pasting. He's been so annoying, but I don't think he's even hit once. I don't think he's... I, I, oh, no, sorry, he did. He hit for one for 20 points once. That's right. So we're going to move back here. Get a better chance at the PPC. And I am going to do an offensive push on this guy. And let's go for the torso that we've already hit and fire. Putting one in the back. Wow. Target eliminated. These guys have gone down like paper. I mean, the cicada was, like, hard to kill. And that one uh, locust was hard to kill. The rest of these guys have gone down pretty quick. Okay, can't get eyes on here. Maybe it's better if we don't. Let's just move up. We want to get everybody shooting at once. Brace. Let's get Steve moving up. And brace. And we're going to reserve. Oh, we don't need to reserve. Now we can get up here. There we go. Now we got eyes on. No shooting, just running. No, no, shooting too, buddy. Let's tag this guy. What is this guy? Locust old. Two periphery rifles. Let's fire on him. Engaging target. Not sure why he can't move. I mean, the other mech started there too, but he seems to... Maybe he started too far away from the edge of the map board what or something? Do do I don't know. Don't need to tell me twice. I don't know what would constitute the fact that he can't move. Let's fire up everything on him. He is a sitting duck, pretty much. When I shoot you, you'll take it and like it. Oh, you don't like it, but I think he likes it because now he can go home to the sky. I'm gonna fire everything. Wow, look at the overheat on this thing. Okay, large hit. Well, we didn't get him in one shot, unless we knock him down here. Nope. Knock him down here in a second, though, I think. Let's hit him with that PPC. Commander. Take him out, buddy. There's the right leg, and he's knocked out. I cannot wait to see the loot table for this. Target destroyed. Wow. Ten mechs up, ten mechs down. We killed him with three. And the loadouts, I'm not even happy loadouts. Like... Those SRMs and everything, I, I didn't expect it to get to uh, to last. So, but still, overall, I mean, we did really well, plus 35% bonus. I know I said I wasn't going to go through this, but it is the first mission, so we're just going to just do this here and then the rest. Alright, so here's our loot table. We need eight parts to finish a mech off, and we're only going to get to choose two, so I'm going to avoid all those, although these flamer double pluses look really juicy right about now. 8 heat. I can replace the pirate flamers with these guys. The damage is only 5, but 10 heat. Overheat. In, I don't know. What else we got? The mining drill. PPC. 
that's an option tags ECM that's a uh, yeah let's grab the ECM oh we got a this is a huge fusion cord though I think it's the same as the one we have in the other mech although we could lower the assassins uh, fusion core what else do we have down here any Pharaoh or anything like that probably not lower arm mask right Sprint and walk distance. Oh, jeez. I mean, I could lower the engine on the Assassin and put a mask in instead. Leave the loadouts as SRM. Hmm. I need me. I need to buy medium lasers. That's what I need to do. That's what I really need to do. Ugh. Take the mask. Let's leave the ECM out for now. I know it's a good thing. Uh, but I want that double heatsink kit out of the other, out of the assassin more than anything. So I think I'm going to go with the fusion core and the mask. This will be for the assassin and then double heatsink kit will go into the, uh, yeah. I think we're going to go this route. Okay, one, two, cicada parts, fire starter parts, a couple locust parts, AC2. Rocket launcher 10, so we got garbage. Wow. All right, well, we did okay. Jager max out till after the financial report, though. We got enough cash to be able to make it through, which means we can't buy anything, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be the end of this first episode. Next episode, when we come back, I'm going to refit these mechs and um, maybe get into another battle that, uh, you know, if we choose a half skull mission, doesn't have 10 mechs that we have to fight. Um... But yeah, so that's the end of uh, the first episode of Funky Steve's Medinas. If you like it, drop a like down and feel free to subscribe. Also check out my other, my two other playlists that are running right now. The Rogue Tech Cold Forge, which is more of a classical approach to Rogue Tech. Um, and my uh, flat Battletech Flashpoint play, playthrough, it's called The 900. Both playlists are on my channel. And yeah, until next time, I'll see you all later.